Hi, this is Brian from Riverside Reptiles. <laughs> and, and today's video is about my beard. And does it look good or should I shave it? Um, I'm not gonna give you my opinion, uh, but I'm you sure- You have your face. Of course they know your opinion, ding dong. So I'm out here with my wife who is chucking corn and my dog. Um, but I'm making this video today because I'm very excited because in this bucket are um, some painted turtle eggs that are hatching. And I'm excited because uh, in June, a friend of mine brought me a painted turtle that got hit by a car. I'll, um, I'll put a picture in, but I will warn you, uh, it is quite graphic. This turtle, this entire carapace was completely crushed and split in half. Unfortunately, the turtle was still alive and um, we had to euthanize her. She was just in, in such rough shape and I'm sure suffering. But I, was man I managed to save the eggs. There were five eggs all together. Uh, one egg went bad, um, but four, actually three of the eggs are hatching. One is kind of wrinkled a little bit, so I think it's trying to hatch. We might, actually we'll probably cut it open to, to make sure the turtle can get out if the turtle is still alive in there. But uh, the eggs are hatching, which is awesome. Uh, so uh, her lineage will live on, but I'm gonna show you the eggs right now. So I actually incubated the eggs outside on my sun porch, uh, just in about three inches of, uh, of topsoil and potting soil. And you can see we got a little baby poking out right there. And then there's one hatching right there and that one. And this one's a little wrinkled. This is the egg that went bad. Um, this egg, hopefully there's still a live turtle in here. I mean, they just probably just start hatching this morning. So um, let's cut that egg open now and see if there's a, a baby turtle in it. Hopefully we'll find out. So typically I do not cut eggs but if all the eggs are hatching and there's one that's really wrinkled um, I will cut it open usually there's nothing alive in it unfortunately but you never know I'm just gonna give it a little slit it was kind of dry in there so sometimes if it's too dry the turtle has difficulty coming out of its shell. Also, it's very likely that this turtle or the embryo died within the egg and it's just a bad egg. We're gonna find out if there's a little live turtle in here. Looks like Oh there is a live turtle in there. Oh. That's awesome. Hold on. Let me turn this around. Oops. You can see he's moving. But he is struggling a little bit. So it looks like he was upside down. So let's get him out of this egg quickly so we can breathe. All right, let's get this little turtle. All right, so now I've seen what happened. And unfortunately, this turtle is alive. But it's really deformed. I 
has no eyes, it has a completely deformed carapace. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a closer look. Here's one of the healthy babies. Happy birthday, little painted turtle. That's so cool. And little egg tooth. several days since these little baby painted turtles hatched and uh, you wouldn't know by looking at it in here but you uh, you can't see them because they do what uh, baby turtles typically do is they bury themselves there's one right here so when they typically hatch out they go into the water and they bury themselves and they just reabsorb the rest of the, uh, the yolk attached to them so remember when we looked at them before they had a big piece of the uh, yolk still attached where their little turtle belly button <laughs> is and it's been absorbed so here's one of them they're so cute when they're this size oh, there's one my phone decides to focus you can tell there's one Somewhere over here, maybe not. Oh, there's one. All right. There's the other one. And here's number three. These cute little baby painted turtles. We're gonna be releasing them soon. We're gonna be putting them back um, right in the general area where their mother was uh, was hit by that vehicle. All right, it's about I think four or five days since the baby painted turtles hatched, and today is the release date. I'm very excited. Um, they are more than ready to go. Uh, they are doing well in their little tank right here, which I've been keeping outside so they can acclimate to the weather. Um, you may have noticed that my wife won the battle. She made me shave my full beard. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. But anyway, we're going to pack these little baby turtles up and we're going to release them right where their mom was uh, was found. So let's uh, let's get them in their container and let's go. I saw them. They're all swimming around this morning before the sun came up. And then they all buried themselves. I'm going to get this little guy. Very cute. Just going to put them in these little traveling containers. One, two. What's neat about baby painted turtles too? They have this little dorsal stripe or vertebral stripe, whatever you want to call it, going down the back of their carapace. And uh, they're very, oop, they're very active. So let's. Uh, get them back into the wild. Unfortunately, something happened to the audio on my iPhone. I'm not sure what happened, but we're gonna do a voiceover here. So 
I just arrived at East Granby Farms and I'm walking down to the wetland. The female painted turtle was found in the road uh, right across from East Granby Farms, so there's no doubt that she came from this wetland. It's late August and it was just so thick in here with the cattails. Uh, so I decided to go behind the marsh to find uh, some more suitable habitat where we can let these little painted turtles go. A short distance later, we made it to the other side of the marsh. It was about a hundred foot walk to the area I wanted to get to. And uh, usually when I'm out tromping around, yes, I walk barefoot. Uh, and I'm glad I did because this was a very, very wet meadow. So we, uh, we cut over into the marsh. We found a nice deer trail, so it wasn't that horrible. Um, but we made it all the way to the marsh and looking for a nice suitable area to release the baby turtles. All right, well, we finally made it to a nice little area where it looked perfect to release these baby eastern painted turtles. The water was actually surprisingly very cool. It was covered with duckweed and it provided a lot of shade for the water so it wasn't too hot. Lots of abundant uh, plants. There was loads of little insects in the water. Uh, perfect area for a baby turtle to thrive. All right, well, it's release time. So once I steadied my feet and prevented myself from sinking into the marsh, took the lid off their little travel container and gently placed them right on top of the duckweed. Once all three of them were sitting on the duckweed, they looked around for a little bit, got familiar with their surroundings, and then they immediately did what they should have done, is they go underneath the duckweed and they completely bury themselves. And I saw one of them stick their heads up briefly uh, when I turned the camera off, but otherwise they uh, pretty much all disappeared into the marsh. As soon as I released the turtles, I looked up and saw this big guy staring at me. Uh, this is a large male American bullfrog, and no doubt this frog would eat a small turtle. Um, thankfully, the turtles burrowed down, uh, so hopefully they'll be safe, and they have a lot of other predators to look out for besides large frogs, um, big fish, which thankfully there's not a lot of big fish in here, birds of prey, possums, skunks, otters, um, they have a lot of predators that they need to avoid, but uh, hopefully they will survive and carry on the lineage of their mother. Whew, it got, it got <laughs> really quickly out here. Ah, so we did it. So, definitely successful. Uh, uh, so, I hope... Um, I really hope that the, the female turtle that got killed by the car, I really, really hope this isn't the end of her story. I hope uh, one of her offspring at least lives on to pass on her genes. I know this area is filled with painted turtles, so uh, they definitely won't be alone out there. Uh, and this is a reminder to people when, um, when turtles are nesting, usually the last couple weeks of May, first couple weeks of June up here in Connecticut, it's just to be aware, you know, they'll cross roads, just slow down, try to avoid them if all possible. I know sometimes you can't, but just try. And uh, if you help a turtle cross the road, just make sure you bring them to the side that they are going to, because again, turtles have one track minds. So make sure you bring them to the side they're going to, even if it's away from water, because it's probably a female looking for a place to lay her eggs. All right, well, I'm gonna make it back to the car. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Brian from Riverside Reptiles. I'll, uh, I'll see you later.